Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Some Port Harcourt based environmental rights activists have asked the River State Government and the Federal Ministry of Environment to release without delay reports of committees set up to investigate causes of black soot enveloping Port Harcourt and its environs. The call follows renewed environmental threats posed by the return of black soot in the wake of the dry season in the River State capital and its environs. Correspondent Chika Bodozie has the details. It's been over five years now since residents of Port Harcourt and its environs began to experience for the first time in 2015 an environmental disaster known as black soot. A thick black cloud of smoke released constantly into the atmosphere as a result of incomplete combustion of organic matter. The black soot has become a nightmare for Portacot residents. It would be recalled that soon after it made its first appearance in 2015, environmental rights activists had launched a campaign to stop the poisonous black soot in Nigeria's garden city. In response to sustained campaigns for a clean and safe environment in River State, the state government set up a scientific work group to investigate the prevalence of black soot. In May 2019, the state government set up a technical committee to implement recommendations of the scientific work group, which identified 12 sources of black soot in River State to include activities of legal and illegal refineries, destruction of illegal refineries by the military, fertilizer producing companies, and constant burning of tires and refuse. Worried that the details of reports turned in by the committees set up by the River State government are not yet in public domain, some environmental rights activists are demanding an immediate release of the report. In furtherance of the people's right to know, our crew reached out to River State Information Commissioner Polinus Inserim, who referred us to the Commissioner for Environment, Dr. Igbiks Tamono. However, efforts to establish the status of the official report on black suit proved abortive as the River State Environment Commissioner could not be reached at the time of filing this report. We are calling on the River State government to publish that report that was submitted to him on the audit of black suit in River State. The Federal Ministry of Environment and Health to working together with the United Nations should also release their own reports on this black suit so that we get to know what is causing the black suit. There seems to be no end in sight for the deadly black suit which subsides with heavy rainfall and peaks during dry season in the last five years. Its reemergence in the month of January this year has raised fresh health concerns in the state. The pollution alone can also result in kidney problems, not just respiratory problems. Because of the derangement in the signaling, there is a, a propensity to um, have a cancers. So this day we see increase of cancers, you know, in our environment, you know, in the practice. Governments need to wake up. It is worse than what we are having as coronavirus. Right now, people ought to be wearing masks in the state of um, in Port Harcourt. Rather, it's because of coronavirus that we're doing that. We're forgetting the fact that for four, more than four years, on a daily basis, people have been breathing in soot, black substances into our system, and it is killing us. The black suit currently ravaging Port Harcourt and its environs is a silent killer which may have been subjected to a political fray between the River State Government and federal authorities. In March 2018, Governor Nyesum Wiki blamed its prevalence on the activities of federal security agencies destroying illegal refineries across the state. Deputy Governor Iqbali Bohari Banigo had given full vent to Governor Wiki's feelings about the unending black suit while addressing protesters some years back at the entrance of Government House, Port Harcourt. The federal government and the security agencies that have been using unusual and uncivilized methods to detonate bunkers and such activities. And so, 
for us as a government, as a responsible government, we will always collaborate with the federal government to we'll see that matters concerning the environment are taken seriously. River State, the melting port of Nigeria's hydrocarbon industry, plays host to several international and local oil companies whose activities contribute significantly to the release of the deadly black soot into the atmosphere. In the same vein, the activities of illegal refinery operators have been largely responsible for the black soot menace that has made life uncomfortable for Nigerians residents in River State. Continuous activities of illegal refinery going on in the length and breadth of the Niger Delta is the major cause of most of all these things that we are seeing. And most importantly is the fact that the government is, has not shown any willingness to reduce it, stop it, or even try to bring it to the minimal, the embarrassed minimal to ensure that people don't see suits on a daily basis. In the last five years, several strange illnesses and deaths in River State have been attributed to the outbreak of the black suit, which is described as far more lethal than the COVID-19 pandemic currently ravaging the global community. The onus is on the federal authorities and the River State government to make concerted efforts to effectively tackle the deadly black suit that has taken a huge toll on residents of Potaka and its environs in the last five years. Inside the Niger Delta, 